Hello everyone, Nika here with your Daily Neuro Nugget. So I have a cup of blue flowers and lemongrass today. And I'm glad that a lot of you are actually getting into drinking tea. It's kind of helped me cut back quite a bit on my coffee consumption. So yeah, but as promised, we're going to talk about the very touchy, taboo topic of Dylan Mortensen potentially being a biological male. Now, if you're easily triggered, this is your warning, get off the channel right now. If this is something that you're sensitive to, get off. This is not for people who are easily offended or easily triggered. We're going to analyze this from a scientific, analytical, non-emotional perspective. And I think if we're going to be critical thinkers, it's essential that we cover this because let's be real, we live in a time where so many young people are switching genders, right? They're deciding to be the opposite gender. They may be transitioning very young. They may be taking hormones. They may be having surgeries. They may be having certain aesthetic procedures to appear to be the opposite sex or be the opposite sex. And here in Illinois, well, in Chicago, I am aware that you can actually legally change your gender on your birth certificate. Now, I don't know if that is how it's working now in Idaho or in other states. I'm sure it varies, but it's something to keep in mind. Some people have said it doesn't matter whether she is trans or female or male or white, black, yellow, whatever she chooses to identify as, they say it doesn't matter. But again, to be a critical thinker, you have to take everything into perspective. We have to remember that there were three other sources of DNA the one found outside in the black glove, and then the two other sources of male DNA that were found in the crime scene. Now, I understand that it's very tempting to say she looks exactly like a male, therefore she is a male, a biological male. But again, we live in a time where I'm of the opinion, at least, that it's very difficult to tell. I have met biological males who have transitioned and look more feminine than I do. So it's very difficult and not everybody wants to talk about those things because again, it can be very personal. It can be very damaging. And I've also seen people who are transitioning get horrible treatment from males and females. So I can see why Dylan, if she were transgender, why she would not want to make that known. But is it possible that she is a biological male? Because if so, could that point us to the direction of Dylan potentially being involved in the crime? Could that point us to Dylan being one of the potential sources of the male DNA that was found in the crime scene? You tell me, you let me know, what do you think? Now, there was a YouTuber, I believe his name was Justin, from what some of you told me, because again, I don't, honestly, I don't have time to watch other channels at the moment, but apparently this YouTuber went out and said that he knew for a fact that Dylan was a biological male. I am of the opinion that you cannot know for a fact if somebody is a biological male unless you've seen them up close and personal without clothing and analyze them in a medical almost sort of way. Because let's be real, a lot of the surgeries nowadays are very, very good. And for somebody to come out and accuse, because that is not speculation, that's accusation. That is 
that is not okay. You can't come out and accuse someone of being a biological male unless you, unless you know, right? Unless you're their doctor, unless you've been with them physically, maybe. So this YouTuber apparently said Dylan is trans because she has very long legs and a very short torso. And when I look at models, they all seem to have very long legs, very short torsos. So does that mean that this YouTuber also believes that all of the Victoria's Secret models are also trans? I don't know, but I have seen a lot of beautiful long-legged females, biological females with short torsos. Actually, my mother has very long legs, very short torso. I'm more in between. So I think genetic variation is something we should consider. We cannot know from her torso and her long legs alone. There was another rumor online that Steve had spelled Dylan's name as D-I-L-L-O-N. So it is a very unisex name in my opinion. And did he misspell it because he did not know how to spell it? Or was he pointing to something? Does Steve maybe know something that we don't know? I'm not sure. There was another rumor that I believe Bubbly Waters on TikTok put out saying that Quinn was apparently at gay clubs. I'm not sure if it was Bubbly Waters or not. Let me know in the comments. I don't have TikTok at the moment. Again, this is all emails that people are sending me. So does that mean that Quinn is attracted to trans people just because he was at a gay club? I don't think so. I have been to gay clubs and I felt safe because it was mostly gay males. So doesn't really mean anything in my opinion, but we have caught Quinn in other lies, right? For example, when he was asked if he had ever been to Moscow and we know he had been to Moscow, her pictures posted by Dylan. Now, I, I, I want to talk about this because I've actually been accused on my old channels, um, much larger. I think the last channel I had maybe 80,000 people and people would always say that I was transgender and I'm a biological female, but I think there's a very stereotypical look or people are jealous. I'm not sure, but let's be real. A lot of models are or were picked for androgynous features. If you look a lot of a uh, look up a lot of Victoria's Secret models, they have um, quite square faces as myself. Like the jawline is quite sharp, quite chiseled, very defined features. Some of us have very thick brows. Um, I'm thinking of like Angelina Jolie, for example, right? Very square. Um, Jennifer Lopez, very square, very chiseled. Um, quite a few models. Androgynous features are the go-to. And some trans people like that look because again, it's a model-esque type of look, the androgynous look. It's still quite popular. So when you see a tall, person, like we see Dylan standing by her truck, right? She's very, very tall. She has a very angular frame. I have a very angular frame myself. Like now I put on a little bit of weight, but me minus 10 pounds, these bones here will literally jut out very angular. And I have very small hips. Also people have mentioned that Dylan appears to have lip fillers. I've looked at her pictures closely and I don't see it, but maybe it's because we have quite similar features actually. 
um, we both have fairly chiseled jaws. We both have plump, fairly plump lips. So some people can think it's lip filler when it's just your natural lip. For me, I have told you guys, I use sometimes cinnamon oil, which can make them a little bit more puffy. People have also mentioned that Dylan has quite thick ankles, quite thick wrists, but I think just like her large feet, it goes with her frame, right? If she's 5'10", you're probably going to have a wider bone structure. You're probably going to have thicker ankles, thicker wrists. So another thing is her body language, her poses. People have said she poses very weird. She poses like a male when she's taking pictures with other females. So is it because she is a biological male? And most of the pictures I have seen of Dylan, she does have a very awkward pose. And I think it's because she's very tall. If she's, for example, 5'10 and I am 5'5", five five, she's literally having to come down, right? Like scrunch down to my height to, to be somewhat more leveled for the camera angle. So that would explain to me the weird, the awkward um, poses. A lot of people have also mentioned she just has this unusual look to her. Her face is a little bit weird. It looks like she's had surgery. There's something off about her. I think she's quite beautiful naturally. I've never actually seen pictures of her when she was very young. I have seen people say that there are pictures of her when, when she was five, six years old as a female but I've yet to actually see those pictures. So when I see them, then maybe we'll verify. But even then, there are some cases where parents have started to allow their children to dress as a female if they choose to do so. There are cases where parents have allowed their children to take these hormones at a very young age when the child decides to do so. Therefore, even with pictures of Dylan being a five, six year old young girl would not necessarily discredit the potential of her being a biological male. So something to keep in mind. Coming back to the unusual facial structure, the unusual face in general, I think she's got, again, a, a look where it almost looks like she's had work done. Now, people ask me all the time, so I guess I'm biased, you know, I'm thinking what people have told me. They often ask, have you had a nose job because, you know, the shape of my nose or have I had um, fillers or a face lift or why, why are my cheeks hollowed out? I'm sorry, I just aged that way. I lost my baby fat. Um, everybody ages differently. Some people have, you know, more round faces as they age. Some people lose the the fat in their cheeks and i i wish i still had it but that's getting old some people think this look of the i know it's it's apparently a a, a trend where people get their what is it there's like a surgery where they like cut your cheeks out or something from the inside which is insane to me but it does give a look right where it looks like you could have had something done and it doesn't mean you did. Again, I've never had anything done. Maybe if I'm older, but I am like deathly afraid of surgery and anesthesia. So I hope to never get anything done just for that reason alone. Also, people say, Dylan has such a small chest. She has a small chest, very small hips and a big behind. I'm like, okay, you're describing my body type. You are, I have a very small chest. I'm not blessed there. Very narrow hips. And if I squat, yes, the, the muscles back there do grow. And they, you know, I don't work the hip area. You could technically grow that 
that muscle on the hips there if you work it. But most women, we, we don't work that, right? We want the, 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 the cheeks, the cheeks. So yeah, you could have a narrow hips with cheeks. Doesn't mean you have implants. So just makes it confusing, right? Now, again, we can't really know. We can speculate all day. We can talk about her body, her, her, you know, odd looking face, her tiny chest, whatever you guys want to nitpick at. But we can't know. We cannot know unless she comes out and tells us or unless her doctor verifies this for us or a genetic molecular guy lets us know. There's really no way to know. But I do understand, again, why people would think this way. Because if she were, that would potentially give us more perspective, right? There are several pictures of Dylan where she's looking quite upset. And when I see those pictures, it's kind of heartbreaking because here you have a home full of young, vibrant girls that allegedly also had a mean streak. So I am nobody to judge. I didn't live in that home. But let's for one second imagine that Dylan was trans. Is it possible that if Dylan is a biological male, that all Dylan wanted to do was to fit in with these other popular girls, these party girls? And is it possible that Dylan was bullied by these girls? We have heard rumors from other people of, again, the girls having a mean streak, having a record of bullying other girls. And is it possible that they also bullied Dylan? Is it possible that this led to Dylan doing something horrible, maybe with the help of other people? Bullying is a problem. It's a huge problem and I see it everywhere. It doesn't stop. Even into adulthood, I see females and males bullying people and especially people who can be seen as weak or vulnerable, AKA Dylan potentially. So it's something that should be considered. It would break my heart. Uh, again, it's up to everybody, in my opinion, what you decide to do with your body. I'm not the ultimate judge, right? There's, there's might, there might be somebody else up there, maybe. Who, who is in charge of that? Not me. So treat everybody kindly. Treat everybody with love, with caring. Just because you disagree with someone's moral beliefs or political beliefs doesn't mean you should go out and attack them. I have seen firsthand where people have gotten arrested, taken to a psych ward for having a KILL list. And the only one that was not on that list was me. Okay, out of like a huge class. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Thankfully, they found this letter with these names on time, but I was not on that list because I was always kind to this young man who was experiencing severe trauma, just so much stress on top of that. The bullying from peers led him to want to do something horrible, and that could have escalated. It could have been really bad. So be careful how you treat People, we are all a large family. In my eyes, I don't care what color, what gender. I love people in general. And I just wish more people would do the same because, again, I don't really see differences in people. Yes, I can, of course, see color and gender. It's silly to me when people say they can't see that. Of course, I can tell uh, a Caucasian from a, a Black, from an Asian, right? We can, we can all see that, but I can also accept all of our differences 
and we don't all have to agree, but we can still be respectful. So that's my little rant for today. I just wanted to, to put that out there because Adults bully people too. I've been bullied. I I still have females who try to bully me. I think again, because if you look a certain way and you're intelligent, um, you will have more people coming after you for sure, for sure. Because it's just the way the world works. If you're quiet and reserved as well, people will come at you sometimes for no reason. So yeah. Be nice to each other. Don't assume that just because somebody looks a certain way or is intelligent that they still don't like to be treated like a normal, regular human being. And I'm going to go now finish this tea. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think Dylan is a biological male? And if you do, do you think that this could implicate Dylan further into the crime scene. Could her DNA be one of the unknown male DNAs found in the crime scene or even the glove? So you guys have a wonderful night. Take care. And of course, give me all the comments so we can boost the algorithm and we can help the channel grow. And also, if you guys have tried the hair recipe, let me know. Do you like it? Is it single? Is it working? What do you think? And my foot is going numb. It's tingling. I should probably not sit on the floor anymore. It's another ADHD thing, right? We have sometimes weird postures, sitting positions. I, I sometimes ball myself up like at my desk. I guess I don't want to go to work. But yeah. I've been accused of being trans and I'm not. Which I think it's funny. I think it could be people just either just being silly or or they see these beautiful trans people who've had, of course, lots of surgery. So I, I, I'll take it as a compliment. I will because let's be real. A lot of trans people are just gorgeous, of course, the surgery. So... Yeah. I don't think Dylan is trans. I I don't, but again, we live in a time and era and place where it just gets more difficult to to tell. I literally met the most ripped female transitioning to male the other day vascular as heck and i also have met tiny petite beautiful model-esque males transitioning and looking like females and their body is like like i'm like whoa good for you because because i'm over here like no chest and they have just this voluptuous body you know so i mean People are going to do what they're going to do, right? So, I should have probably um, used my tea filter. By the way, <clears throat> it's been taking me a couple hours to upload these videos, so. You must know I really like you if I'm having to sit and wait through so these upload fully. Cinnamon oil. Olive oil. Coconut oil. Just calling me. 
probably my second job. All right, guys. I should get going.